kind of getting his way. Now Bartlett, once again, with huge room up the middle, inside the five, and he is into the end zone. Grady Bartlett with a pair of touchdown runs last game against Steele. He has another one here tonight, his third of the season, and he's in for six. Touchdown, Westlake. You can see the massive size advantage the Westlake offensive line has. Joe just opening up massive holes for Bartlett to run through. Not even really touched until he got to the goal line there. 17-yard touchdown run and a four-yard line. Chris Gonzalez under center looking to hand it off and does. Will they come back the other way? Yes, they will. Westlake snuffs it out, makes the play behind the 25-yard line at the 24. Nice job on the tackle for loss. Brandon Clark mixing it up in the backfield. It's against Steele, a big bounce-back performance for him after the Atascacita game. Now looking to throw straight over the middle. That pass caught wide open as Cal Livingood. Livingood cuts towards the numbers on the left side. Still at his feet, inside the five. Touchdown, Cal Livingood. Oh, that second effort after contact, after he made the quick strike over the middle. Wise found living good, living good, just free of defenders, but when contact came, kept his feet moving, darted right, darted left, and kept his feet moving into the end zone. Touchdown, Westlake. Four plays on offense for Westlake, two touchdowns. That is a pretty good ratio. You see the tackling, a little bit of an issue there for Aikens, but good effort from Cal living good in the throw. Right on the money. Perfect timing from Reese Wise. Daniel Valadez is kind of hanging on there. Had a chance to make the play, but Living Good eludes him. And get it on running. So now, Elliot Chopper making the play on third down. That Sinclair could go out there and perform and perform in a very tough situation. Now they look to just swing it out here to Grady Bartlett at the 20. Swing pass to the 10, to the 5. Goal line, touchdown Westlake. Grady Bartlett only needed a little bit of a seam, and he's got it as Westlake triples up here with 6-12 to play in the first quarter as Grady Bartlett scores his second touchdown, this time through the air. Touchdown Westlake. It's an explosive start for the Shaps, Joe, and as you watch the replay there, it's the blocking on the outside by the wide receivers. Cal Livingood, Chase Bowen, they seal the defenders. Grady Bartlett, his job's easy. Just catch the ball and take it into the end zone. Now look at a turn and hand off. Wise straight up the gut here to Cal Livingood, and Livingood almost untouched as he runs in from 13 yards out in the score. Defensive front, first down and 15 with two wide receivers to his right. Looking to roll the pocket that direction, firing that direction. That pass caught at the 10-yard line. Cash Robin still on his feet. Stutter steps inside the five. Leaps over a defender and finally upended inside the five. Wow. Just a lot of extracurricular activity after he made that catch. Robin just trying to find his way into the end zone. Yeah, watch this replay. I mean, he looks like he's wrapped up a couple of times. Somehow slips out of a couple of them and a big hit there at the end. He's earned a touchdown here at this point, Joe. Ball down to the three-yard line where it is second and goal. The turn, the handoff to Elijah Clark, who is into the end zone. Touchdown, Westlake, his second rushing touchdown of the season. Elijah into the end zone for six. Touchdown, Westlake. It's a good run there by Elijah Clark as Westlake adds to the point total here. And what Tony Salazar always talks about, take care of business so we can get some guys some reps. And that's exactly what's going on here. Beavers two Boone lackeys right. They send Clark out to the flat. That's the first look. Now they're going to dump it off to Justice on the screen. Johnson at the 30. Cuts it to the 25. Inside the numbers to the 20. Shakes the tackler. Down the left sideline. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Justice Johnson. Johnson, the name you know, in for six. Touchdown on the nice screen pass from Boone Lackey. Touchdown, Westlake. This time I can confidently say no flags on the field. Justice Johnson will get his touchdown and love the play design there from Kirk Rogers. Just perfect throw back there to Justice Johnson and the blocking downfield was there. And then it's just speed the rest of the way. Second career receiving touchdown for Justice Johnson. It's, it's actually changed over the course of the years. After this play, again, Kimball getting the call. And once again, not coming up with much real estate there. As the Chaparrales thought that the ball came out. It looks like they may have it. They have. The ball came out, and Westlake has recovered the fumble, and I believe it's Braden Cusack that has come up with the rock here. So Westlake forcing a turnover. We see it as Jai Kimball. The ball comes out. Brody Spencer right there. 
And as the ball comes out, I believe it is Cusack that covers it up. Two wide receivers to his right, a halfback to his right. Knocks on the snap, looking to hand off to Clark. Running right, Clark with good blocking to the outside. At the 10, at the 5, he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Elijah Clark. His second touchdown of the night. And Elijah Clark is in for six. Touchdown, Westlake. And how about the blocking downfield again from the Westlake receivers, Joe Hudson Wiley, the senior, out there kind of sealing the edge for Clark. And it's not just the starters that can block, Joe. The backup receivers are coached up. They block as well. You see it throughout that run. Oh, man, just a, a, a clinic right there. Really the half back to the left of the formation. Two wide receivers to Boone Lackey's left, one to his right. Boone looking to hand off to Clark. Clark looking to get to the edge. Turns at the 10, at the 5. Hits to the corner. Eliza Clark scores for his third touchdown tonight. The trifecta for number three. It's a trio for Eliza Clark. Touchdown, Wesley. Perfect blocking once again. The offensive line did its job. You'll see here on the replay as Clark takes it outside to the left. That's where the receivers do their job. It's it's coached at all levels here at Westlake, and it's another Shaps touchdown. So it'll be Steinfeld on for the extra point try. First down at the 10-yard line, first and goal Westlake. Knox rolling the pocket left. He's going to run. Quarterback sweep. Cuts it back to the middle of the field. Knox darts right, then darts left, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Westlake. Austin Knox in for six. Touchdown, Westlake. Keep the perfection going. Nine for nine now for Westlake. A nice cut back there from Austin Knox. And you can see he's got some shiftiness. Brings a little different element to the quarterback position than maybe Reese Wise does. The bad news for Austin Knox is he's in the same class as Reese Wise, but hopefully we'll get to see him on the field some. Well, I tell you what, this is his first career rushing touchdown as he is into the end zone. And now you can see... Steinfeld on for the extra point. Knox will hold for him. Good snap, good hold. Kick is up and good. And with 2.56 left. Options and trying to get more experience for some of these young guys on offense. Ernesto Gonzalez going to punt this one away. Solid punt. Going to knuckle right to the 41-yard line. And a returnable punt here. And in the open field is Riddle. Oh, my goodness. Turning the corner to the 25-20. Down the right sideline to the 10, to the 5. He's towards the goal line. Did he get in? Waiting for the signal. Yes, he did. It's a punt return for a touchdown. How about that? Getting into the open field is Braden Riddle. Riddle able to angle his way for a 61-yard punt return for a score. Touchdown, Westlake. Oh, that's fun. I mean, we're, we're seeing Westlake score in all the ways. And hadn't seen a special teams touchdown yet tonight, but we get one there. How about that? Little kick six right there on a punt return for a score. And he's had some opportunities to return punts. We saw him in the San Benito game, and he comes back here against Aikens. Why not? We'll just go ahead and score. It'll be Steinfeld on for the extra point. Good snap, good hold, kick is up. and the Coach, a uh, little bit of a repeat from the first half. Came out in the second half, another dominating performance. Got to feel good about what your guys put out there. It was good. You know, everybody got the game, and obviously some guys, some young guys, did some good things. So it was fun to see uh, some plays being made on offense, defense, special teams tonight as well. So a uh, complete victory, and I think it kind of, you know, it validates the week of work we had. So I'm excited for these kids. Uh, next week, big rivalry weekend, Austin High at House Park. You know, what are you going to do to get ready for these guys? Show up on Monday, you know, and have a good plan and, and, and uh, prep all day long, have a good practice on Monday night, and then uh, turn around Tuesday morning and do it again. But same old things we've been doing. We're going to make sure that we, we prepare as best we can, coach and come up with a good game plan this weekend, and, and uh, Austin High is going to get our undivided attention all next week. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate it.